I just filmed there for about five minutes without actually having recorded. So basically, it is 10 past one. I look horrendous. I've been up for a couple of hours trying to pack. It's not going well, guys. It's not going well at all. This is my airport outfit tomorrow, my underwear, my backpack, my hoodie. And this is just chaos. This is the outfits I need left out in a bag. And this is what it looks like. This is all my clothes. Those bags over there are rubbish. So my shoes I'm wearing, I'm gonna wear those tonight and I'll wear those tomorrow so I'll need to pack those. My bag, my carry-on is there. The straighteners are over there. To be fair, I'll probably straighten my hair tonight. I'll have a shower, straighten my hair, do all that. My carry-on is there. So far, I don't have that much in it. I reckon I'm gonna have to shove a lot of these clothes in it. My makeup situation is there. Thing is, I can't really pack my makeup. I'm trying to pack it but I'm gonna leave out the stuff that I only need. And basically my case is already full. So that's not ideal, friends, that's not ideal. Um, we're getting a wee sneak peek of some of the stuff I bought, ooh! But yeah, the problem is it's not ideal. I could just do it with another case really and that would de-stress me a lot. But yeah, so not fantastic. Um, stressing me out a little bit. But I feel like once I put this camera down, I'll start packing my clothes. Once the clothes are packed, there isn't that much else to pack. A couple of pairs of shoes, which will go in my carry-on. I'm not really concerned about the weight. We'll deal with the weight tomorrow in the airport. But yeah, it's just the makeup bag, which there's a space for my makeup bag there, so it'll go in. And the rest is going in my, like I'm literally gonna be jamming things into my backpack and stuff so that I don't have to worry about it. But, see I'm packing on a holiday, or packing from a holiday really stresses me out. But tomorrow, because I'm obviously not worried about losing my luggage, like if I lose my luggage, I lose my luggage. It is not the end of the world. It'd be very, very, very upsetting and sad. But I don't have to worry about going on holiday with nothing then. But obviously me personally, I would rather lose my luggage on the way back home because you're going home, it's much easier to sort stuff, buy stuff, replace stuff than if you were losing it on a two week holiday and you had nothing. No, I'd actually cry. That would be the most awful thing. But anyway, so last night we went to Tag Italia. I will insert all the video clips where they should be. And then we were drinking. We were on the beach till like three, three o'clock-ish. And then we got home, by the time I got home and everything it was like four. So, I'm knackered, in other words. Tonight we are not drinking, we are having one cocktail. We are going to El Santo's. And today we get to see Carla. So Carla's gonna be here, so we'll see her soon too. I'm just so excited to get packed and then go. So I'm gonna put on the camera stuff, filming and pack. Hi everybody, I'm wearing my little curry swimsuit and Miss Birthday Girl's over here. Hey. And we're at Vivero. Oh, that's just a starter. Maybe you can just have a couple starters. The food court on this trip is just incredible. I'm loving that plate. Your salad looks unreal, Holly. Literally incredible. Oh, it's goat cheese I had on my burger the other day. Hi guys. I literally can't see what I'm filming, but we're in Vivero. It's very sunny. I just can't see anything. I'm like, I, I feel like, like, where was the sentence going? I'm in Vivero. Sunglasses. <laughs> Shit. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the views. The view is, we'll see what the drinks are like. Um, the food and service so far has been questionable. Look at Holly. She's just come to the day beds for a chat. You right, Millie? Darling, I'm absolutely right. Millie! <laughs> I'm not gonna let someone take me for a mug, no way! <laughs> Why was that so good? Thanks. My impressions today have been very good, haven't they? Yeah, they've actually been on point. What was the- Sam! Sam, the Norwegian salmon. I can't do it, I didn't do it as well. It's so annoying. So guys, now that the shade is here and I can actually see a little bit, 
I'm gonna tell you the story of last night on Holly's birthday night. <laughs> I can't even cope. Basically, which one, which one are we starting? This month, there's too many. So basically, what happened was Holly was very loud. Like louder than your average, you know, person. And what I think we should establish now, as in you have your average person now. <laughs> you literally look like you're on Love Island. I am darling. Her watermelon mojito. <laughs> Ole. And then. <laughs> Ole. Ole. <laughs> um, and then watermelon. No, I didn't okay, never mind. That was brilliant. <laughs> There's like loud, like average loud, and then there's louder than loud, and I was like, which is the average loud for me. Yes. <laughs> and then there's. And then I was like additionally loud. But you weren't like obnoxious. Not even a little. No. Bit. So, back to the story. Obviously, Holly's birthday is today. Happy birthday! <laughs> She's 26. How exciting! So her birthday was today, and um, obviously she turned 26 at midnight. So, what basically happened was, as we got to the point that you were loud, but you weren't like falling over yourself, being sick on yourself, none of that crap. But what happened excitable. was, excitable, just very, very happy. But also, I'd like to make the viewers aware, we are in stitches. Stitches is a gay toy. So they're not, you know, bad for the eccentricity. Yes. Lots of it. It was also midnight, and we were also in Paris. And if you know Paris, Paris is packed. So it's not like it was quiet. It wasn't like the library, like hush hush, ooh, no. shah, shah, hush hush, none of that. So, so, ooh, No. So basically, what happened was these guys were beside us. There must have must have been about six of them. Yeah, that's they were all like. 65, well maybe not 65, 60 plus, old, old. grey hair, sitting there, having a wee, pumping, which is meeting. But they were having a good old natter like, and they just seemed in bad moods. So Holly got up on the table, and I was like, oh a please dear no lord. You say podium like it was there as a podium, Holly. It was not. It was a black So box. Holly just stood on something high to get a good view. And <laughs> everyone, <laughs> oh good, yes, so everyone could view her. So she got on the podium, and I'll insert this picture right here. This is how angry that man was that she was on the podium. So I was like, Holly, step back and I'll get pictures without his ugly mug in it. <laughs> then she sat down and her friend Billy rang her. Shout and she out was to like, Wah, Billy! And I was like, oh Jesus. She was like, it's my birthday! And I was like, oh, it's so loud. Some man turned around and whacked her. <laughs> Quiet. And I was like, excuse me, can you not touch my best friend? That like, there's a way to ask, which is very politely saying, Excuse me, can you, can you, poke a poke on, a little bit quiet. No, this guy like assaulted her and I was like, that's not okay. So then Holly turned around and this is what Holly said to the guy. I said to him, do you know what, I've had a really shit year and you only get one birthday year and I'm going to bloody well make the most of it, so fuck you. <laughs> I'm still recovering from that. So I was like, Holly, <laughs> can I do the pink impression? The guy in the pink shirt goes, I'm oh, really, I'm oh, really, this is the fact, I'm oh, really, really, oh, you are, really, really. He was so angry, wasn't he, though? Like, but he was know. so angry. He was. It was so unnecessary. Man. So, this guy also then just made eye contact with me, and I at this point was drunk but sober. And I was drunk but sober, and I literally, he was looking at me, and I just was like, This, why are you staring at me? <laughs> And he was like, you're a friend, and I went, but there's a way to ask, and it's not that. So I was absolutely livid. I was angry, I was a bit livid. And then Holly had a boy who was with us. And he just kept, oh, if I seen her touch her, I would be at, well, you, we didn't, and you didn't. Like, you didn't see it, and you didn't do anything. So that's the news all the way from Vero. I will take a couple videos. Oh, I'll also insert pictures of my food here. It was very expensive, guys only come to Vivero for cocktails because we actually walked through the door here and asked can we have cocktails and like tapas nibbles and they were like no you need to have you need to sit down at the restaurant Ollie what happened when we sat down to have our drinks? I think it was a snacks menu. Like it wasn't even snacks I had like patalas bravas, chicken, but yeah, like, actual, like croquettes, 
tapas. They had tapas. We asked for cocktails and tapas, and they were like, no, you have to sit at the restaurant. And then the restaurant shut in 45 minutes, and they rushed us the whole way through the meal. And they tried to charge us the next 10 euros. <laughs> we're not tipping you that much, thanks. <laughs> Hello guys, so today it is Tuesday the 14th of September, as you can hear I sound horrendous, but basically I'm obviously back from Spain, I have a very clean room don't you think? I just spent the last two hours, I've put my first wash on, there's about three loads, I've unpacked my case, put everything away, I've set out over here on this bench all the things I bought to do a haul. It's not like so much stuff, but it's a couple nice things that I'll be like, oh, look at this. So once all this is finished, basically this will be the last bit you'll see before my next video is my Barcelona haul video. So you'll get to see what I bought. I'm sure you'll see snippets of it, but basically I just want to have a little sit down. I don't know if I sit down, I'm probably too low or not, probably. But yeah, so basically um, I didn't film anything yesterday I think I literally took a picture of my cases put them on Instagram and left because it was a little bit stressful so originally I had booked to go in a taxi in the airport um, my taxi cancelled at 10 p.m. on Sunday night so I was like oh my god what am I gonna do so I booked another taxi with a different company and was like brilliant so I woke up on Monday morning my flight was at 20 to 1 so I was like, if I leave at nine, be there for half nine, that's like three hours, that's plenty of time. So, I was ready, packed all my stuff the night before, had one drink of parts on the last night, came home, packed, went to sleep, woke up early, was downstairs for 22, 10 minutes before my taxi, checked out, and the girl at Utopia was like, do you need me to ring your taxi? I was like, no, 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 I booked it, don't worry, it'll be fine. Obviously, it wasn't fine. So 22, basically I'm standing there and <laughs> I waited till 10 to, no taxi. So I gave it an extra five minutes. So five to, I was like, would you actually mind just ringing me a taxi please? And they were like, yeah, no problem. That's absolutely fine. So I was like, thank you. And then, yeah, basically we waited till then 10 past. So it's 20 minutes late now. At 10 past, she rung them again and was like, oh, they said it could be anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour. And I was like, we're already 20 minutes late. So they're gonna be half an hour, then that's gonna make them 50 minutes late, that's ridiculous. But I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'll wait another like 10 minutes. But basically I knew if I was gonna get the bus and not a taxi, I had to get it at 10 to 10, cause that would be half 10 I'd get there, which means that would only be two hours ahead. And I've heard Barcelona airport was very busy. So basically, yeah, what I did was I waited till sort of 25 past and was like, right, I need to know now in the next five minutes whether the taxi is coming or not, because if not, I have to walk to the bus stop. So basically, the girl rung again. They were like, oh, we don't know. Like, we don't know what's happening. So I was like, okay, that's fine. So I waited for another couple minutes while going, okay, you're just gonna have to get the bus. It's fine, it's grand. It just, the only reason I did taxi was because it was cheap enough. It was like, quoted 50 euro. And I was like, you know what? I'd rather get the, the taxi, get right to the airport, front of the doors, and all my stuff, because I had quite a lot of things as well. So I was like, right, we'll just get a taxi. So, then she got a call and she looked at me and she was like, and I was like, oh, please tell me that they're coming soon. And she was like, that's it there. And I literally turned around and was like, oh, thank you, God. Like, honestly, stressful. So, yeah, basically, I got a taxi then and I was there by, um, I think it came in and at like 10, half nine, I think it arrived at, or about 25 past, something like that. But basically, I was waiting outside for about 50 minutes and it was like 40 minutes late in total. So I was like, okay taking forever but that's fine so it came and it didn't take long at all I was there by like 10 o'clock and yeah basically I stood in the queue for check-in the check-in queue was so long I've never been in the check-in queue that long in my life I was in the check-in queue from like 5 to 10 10 till like quarter past 20 past 11 and I was like this is absolutely insane Security was so quick, in, out, done. And then, yeah, basically, I was like, oh, okay, I have like an hour before, well, I didn't have an hour, I had like 40, 45 minutes before I needed to go to my gate. Um, so it was like 20 past half 11-ish, and I was like, oh, I don't need to be at my gate till like, my gate till like 12, so this is fine. So basically, I went to McDonald's, got some chicken legs, got some cheeps, 
I almost lived my best life watching Grey's Anatomy. Just kidding about happier. So I had my lunch. Had, I hadn't eaten anything at this point. I didn't eat anything else yesterday. But yeah, basically had my lunch. Then I went to the toilet. So I was like, don't want to pee on the plane. It's a little bit inconvenient. And then, yeah, basically I went to Duty Free. Seen something. I was like, oh, they're nice. I want those. So got those. I'll show you in my haul. But I was very happy with that purchase. And then, yeah, went to the gate. All well as well this time. Basically, I arrived with um, Welling and you're allowed one big case, 25 kg, one carry-on case, 10 kg, and a small bag, like a backpack, something small, like a handbag. And that is what I arrived with, basically. On the way back, I was like, I do not have enough room for all the stuff that I bought. So I technically had two backpacks. I had a backpack and a really big handbag. And yeah so at the gate i checked in and was like can i check in my my um my carry-on and i had like the, the handbag like shoved in my feet trying to hide it and she was like absolutely he go so i checked it on and she was like here's your boarding pass make sure you use it because it's the one with your checked in luggage and i was like yeah yeah of course thank you like i'm definitely going to be using them on my phone because obviously i have two bags so they'll make me pay for it so it's being sneaky trick of the system sorry boiling so got to gate anyway and they were absolutely fine that had the bags they didn't say nothing they just let me on through got onto the plane and there was somebody so i was 26b i think and the person obviously was there already there 26c so i got in sat down and i sat in 26a because i was like michael was meant to be 26a i was meant to be 26b so i was like i'm pretty sure michael hasn't cancelled it so i was saying to the guy i was like i'm actually meant to be sitting there i'm just gonna wait and see if nobody comes because my friend was meant to be on the flight with us but he's he's already gone home so I think I might be free. So I texted Michael and was like, yo, Michael, have you cancelled your flights? And he was like, no. So I was like, unreal, the seat's gonna be free. Like 10 minutes later, they were like, cabin crew boarding is complete. Please shut the doors. And I was like, yes. And the man's wife was on the other side of the aisle. He was like, she was like, how did you know that? And I told him the story. I was like, my friend's hopefully coming back with us, but he went home early. So I was like, I think there's a seat. So I had two seats, which is unreal. And yeah, basically I sat in the plane, charged my phone for a little bit. Um, watched Grey's Anatomy I had a Coke Zero and a water so I was like I'm going to need to pee as soon as I get off this flight basically so flight was super quick absolutely fine got off the gate Got was the last one off the plane because they did it with Covid rules like 5 rows at a time so they're like 20, they're 26 and I was like oh, are you kidding so the last one's off I think there was 2 people before me because like the guy just took ages to get out in front of me and I was like time today grandpa but yeah basically got off went straight to the loo got through and um, passport control that sort of stuff got my cases went online and booked my covid test so it's half two i booked a test for quarter to three so i kept arrive anytime between quarter to three and three so i was like unreal that's fine so i then put into google maps i came out of terminal one at dublin airport and i got out of there put in the information, booked it, and was like, right, you can arrive anytime between quarter to two and three. It's like, great, it says 10 minutes walk on Google, on um, Google Maps. So I got out of the airport, took a right to head towards Terminal 2, going towards Randocks. Got to Randocks, like literally, also all this time, I'm carrying two big cases, a backpack, a handbag, my phone sat nav. I was like, oh God, it was horrendous. So got out, walked towards Randox, got to Randox at like 10 to 3 and was like, hi, I'm really sorry, I'm like five minutes late, but I don't know you can arrive anytime between quarter to two and three. And they were like, no worries, that's fine. What's your booking info? I opened the email, gave it to them. And they were like, this isn't for Randox. This is for Rock, Rod Dock or something. And I was like, great know where that is and they were like yeah it's up to you know terminal one and i was like yeah that's where i've just come from they were like yeah it's literally just left i was like unreal how long does it take to walk there i had just walked there it took like 20 minutes but that's because i was so lost i went like a really weird way i was crossing like traffic but there was like no you shouldn't have been crossing and i was like ah, this is, ah stressful so yeah basically and i paid like 50 euro for the test so i was like i don't want to miss the slot and then have to pay another one so i was like mm. so Basically, I was like, okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna just go, bye, this is embarrassing. So I left, walked up, and was like, I'm gonna kill myself, this is absolutely horrendous. 
actually stopped and got one of those trolleys for suitcases because I was like I can't I can't walk and look at my sat nav at the same time I don't have any free hands so walked up and literally like whenever I did find it I was like it was literally two minutes away from the left outside the gate so if I'd done that I probably would have gotten an earlier bus back to Belfast but we don't know that it is what it is my home now it's fine so went there and was like hi i'm literally and like i'd missed the appointment by like eight minutes i was like i'm like five minutes late i'm really sorry and he was like that's fine don't worry so let me in so i was really grateful for that so took the test literally within half an hour i got the results back saying covid not detected and i was like yay i don't have coronavirus get me on the bus home so it was about 20 past three and i walked over to the air coach station and was like hi oh at this point it was lashing absolutely lashing i walked over to the air coach and was like when's the next bus to belfast and they were like it's five o'clock you just missed the three o'clock one and i was like okay that's fine just book that so it cost me 17 euros it wasn't bad single one way so it's fine got on that took me two hours to get home was back and home at home by seven and then got a taxi my dad had the band and he took the car and my mum doesn't drive in belfast so i had to get a taxi home so that was fine so i grabbed a taxi value cab was right beside gangol street I uh, jumped in the taxi, taxi driver was so lovely and he took me right the way to my door and helped me with my cases and everything and then I got in and the reason I'm filming this tomorrow is because I sat in that with my mum for like five hours, it was ridiculous and I have literally, to be fair, I got like a, such a good sleep last night, I slept for like a full ten hours, I'm just so shattered and I spent all morning unpacking, setting out the stuff I bought for like my whole video so I'm gonna film it probably tomorrow I'm gonna sit and edit the videos tomorrow. I'm so excited for you to see them all. By this time, they'll all already have been up and you'll see them. Um, but yeah, it's just so, so great to be home. But at the same time, I wish I was back out there. But yeah, so also like a couple things I just wanna chat, chat, chat about. Obviously, um, the trip didn't go exactly like planned at all. Obviously, Michael and I were meant to be out there the whole 10 days, 10 nights together. And he's unfortunately come back home. Um, it's nothing serious he just wasn't really feeling himself and he just didn't want to be around so many people and covid and everything so he went home there's no hard feelings me and michael are still chatting we didn't fall out or anything which i think i said earlier on that's surprising because <laughs> normally we do but um yeah so i had an amazing like first i think we spent four days together and well uh, the friday as well was probably five days so the friday traveling the Saturday we went to Mercadona, chilled. The Sunday we did the beach. The Monday we did Port of Mature. And Tuesday we literally stayed in all day. We were absolutely shattered. So yeah, and then the Wednesday, Thursday, I was on my own. And I actually had such a good time, you know? Like, I, well, I say I was on my own. On the Wednesday, I was on my own the whole day. And on the Thursday, I seen Grania for breakfast. It's also thanks to Grania and I that I like podcasts. I was listening to Dizzy ones. So thanks, Grania. <laughs> but I've seen Grania. I've seen Grania a couple of times throughout the trip, which was so lovely. I have missed her so much. And Grania lives in New York at the moment. So I'm definitely gonna get myself on a flight over and see her and visit Flavio, who's living in LA. So rather than taking two full return trips to America, I'm definitely just gonna go to LA, then go to New York, then come home, or go to New York, LA, then come home and take one internal flight, which will be much easier. So yeah, I'm gonna save up and do that, but that's gonna be like, we're talking at least a year and a half away. But um, I'm, I'm, I feel so much more confident that I can do things on my own now, but yeah. So on a Thursday, I've seen Grania, um, I went to Sagrada Familia, and then I've seen Frankie Biggs, and yeah, I just spent the day chilling. I went out for my dinner, I think, on the Thursday night to a sports bar. At one point, I seen a rat. I don't know if I'll put the video in, but I'll put it in here. Look, look how close that rat is. It's such a brave rat. But yeah, basically there's loads of things that I just filmed randomly um, and put in. I'll put them all in. Very sad, I wish I wasn't home now. Holly is still out there at the moment. And I miss her already so much. But that is one thing. I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to Holly. She made the trip so great. We are planning to go in March. Um, my birthday kind of falls on I'm St. Patrick's Day, which means I get a bit of time off work. So we're planning to go then, hopefully. And then also maybe in October time. Um, so this trip might become like an annual thing. I'm hoping it does anyway, because I love Barcelona. I love Sitges. I just feel comfortable, it's so refreshing and free. But I honestly had the best trip. And yeah, it's made me as well want to have a little look at some solo traveling, even just going for like some city breaks to like Italy or Paris. 
really want to go to Disneyland Paris. I always thought I would say I would never be brave enough to do that. I absolutely think I could spend like a day, two days in Disneyland Paris by myself with no issues. I really do. So maybe that will be on the card. I think Florida might be slightly extreme, but if I don't have someone to go with by the time I'm like 30, I think I'll do it for like a week, no issues. Just be trying to fit everything in that I want to do in a week. Too much stuff, maybe two weeks on my own. <laughs> but I, oh, I'm just, I just feel refreshed and happy and so glad that I'm back. Um, I just want to thank everybody who's watched my channel um, up to now, and including this like vlog series. Thank you so much for supporting me and watching it. I hope you enjoyed going to Spain with me. I can't wait to do more travel videos in the future. Please let me know if you like this. Give it a massive thumbs up. Share it if you want to. Um, let me know if you've done anything in Barcelona that I missed. I think the only things I missed doing was obviously the rooftop bar at the W Hotel. It was under construction. Couldn't do nothing about that. Park Riel, which I really want to do next time. And the fruit market. I just didn't get to go around the fruit market. So, it's just a little bit sad, but it is what it is. And the next thing me and Holly are definitely going to look at doing is jet skiing when we're next there. Because I kept seeing them and was like, I want to be on jet skis. I do. I really do. But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed these videos, guys. And um, thank you so much for watching. The next video will be a haul of all the stuff that I bought. So, stay tuned and see you soon. Bye.